Our next story here, Florida's Matt Gates to introduce a bill defunding Jack Smith investigation targeting Trump. We must act. So this is a bit of a follow up on a story we told, I believe, two days ago where Trump is insisting that he's going to be uh, arrested at some point because of this investigation. But Representative Matt Gates announced Tuesday he would be introducing legislation in the House of Representatives to defund special counsel Jack Smith's grand jury investigation into the January 6th Capitol riot uh, and efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. I will be introducing legislation to defund Jack Smith's witch hunt against President Trump, Gates wrote on Twitter just hours after former President Donald Trump confirmed on social media that he had been notified he was the target in an investigation and expected to face an arrest and indictment. They are attacking our democracy and engaging in election interference right now. The United States Congress has the capacity to stop this election interference and we must act immediately, Gates added. So how do you guys feel about this? Are you happy with what Gates is doing here? Do you think this is the proper strategy to prevent something like this to occur? Does he have any other choice? And what do you think is going to come of the investigation into Donald Trump? We know they've been desperately trying to nail him on anything. Is this what they're going to finally be able to cook up some trumped up charges on? Well, Smith's been trying to get the trial moved uh, aggressively to December which would put him right at the heart of the beginning of the primary season debates. Um, and people say, well, okay, there's no statute of limitation on this quote unquote crime. So we don't have to do it in, you know, we don't have to do it in, in December. We could do it in 2026. Mm -hmm. what, what's the rush to have it done now? And the rush clearly is to interfere with the election. So I don't think Congress has any other options, right? The other options are sadly, the riots, but I don't want that to happen, right? I don't want to see America devolve into chaos, but there are, the MAGA movement is big and they're not going to be quiet about it. And so I think it's a first step of hopefully de-escalating what is otherwise an abuse of, of the DOJ. Uh, it, it's a clear violation or it's a clear interference in the election. Right. And, and for the Biden administration to say, whoa, hey, look, this is just the DOJ acting autonomously and independently and we have no comment. Karine Jean-Pierre is constantly <laughs> yeah. saying, I have you know, asked them about it. Um, I, I think I think if this were happening in the Congo, we would laugh at it. Right yep. when this happens in Russia, and Vladimir Putin's opponents all suddenly disappear right. um, or get arrested, we laugh at it. And so I I applaud them taking some action legally, and they have the power of the person. So this is their jurisdiction, and I think we should see more of it. Yeah, when I was reading the story today, I, I guess I hadn't totally put together that uh, Smith is responsible not just for the January sixth investigation. But he's also the one leading the probe into the uh, classified document issue that led to the, the raid on Mar-a-Lago. You know, Trump just pled last month not guilty to 37 charges stemming from that investigation. I can't help but feel like there's some kind of conflict that this guy who's already leading an investigation that is going to trial was like, great, so now that we've got those charges under, we're starting another one. Here yeah, we go. Right. That seems like complete conflict of interest. Like, why would we continue to to fund money towards this person? Exactly like what you're saying. When it seems like there is a clear uh, timeline issue, you have to question intent when someone who could bring these tri th bring these charges later is like, no, but we have to do them now. Yeah. And also, mm -hmm. now that I have some charges on the table, I want more. Exactly. How will we know he's not going to open up a third investigation? Like, this is going to yes, go on and on They can do this on. all day long. And so this is from uh, gates.house.gov. The power of the purse is not some intermittent thing that we wield every fiscal cycle. It's something that we have to wield in day in and day out to achieve victory for our people and stop this. I'm under no illusion that the Democrats will bring such legislation up in the Senate, but the American people deserve to know where Congress members stand. I, I, I think that's exactly right. I think that's completely fair. I think that something does have to be done about this. And you're right. The timing of this investigation is more than a little suspicious. Yeah. The idea that, well, this is the DOJ and they just have no common interest. Look, the Department of Justice said after Roe was overturned that they were going to essentially dishonor what the court wanted. They were going to make sure that these uh, procedures were as protected as they possibly could be. They were also going to increase their uh, vigilancy against the violations of the FACE Act and what that ended up resulting in was trumped up charges against Mark Houck. The idea that the left-wing political apparatus isn't collaborating with itself because it has so much respect for the idea of checks and balances within United States government when these people mm. repeatedly say by any means necessary and that they're interested in the process and not the results isn't just hopelessly naive it's actually cynical these people know what they're doing they know why they're saying the things that they're saying and they're exploiting the American people's good faith I remember back in 16 when there were all the uh, uh, Trump Clinton things breaking and there was Russiagate 
right? And the PP tape and all that. And you always saw the name, <laughs> you saw the name Peter Stroke. And then there was Hillary Clinton, the 33,000 emails, and you saw the name Peter Stroke. And I remember thinking, does anyone else work at the DOJ, right? Like, how come this one he guy, is the yeah. DOJ. And, and that's what I think of with Jack Smith now. It's like, everything is his case. Like, doesn't mm-hmm. the DOJ have 40,000 people who work there? How come this one guy seems to be getting all the yeah, big two cases? Two pros of Trump right yeah, now. It's- how come he never goes to a supervisor and is like, can I just have something else off my plate? Like, right. I'm really busy these yeah, days. I don't want to delegate so anything. It's very funny how the same people get all of these cases. Right. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence that he's probably not definitely being like, okay, but what's the next thing I can bring against Trump? Yeah. Like, it, it's I, how is it not suspicious to people that the man is continually investigated by people who hate him and every investigation up until this point has shown that he was innocent, that he was not guilty of the thing that they were alleging, and they just keep launching new investigations into mm. him, and we're supposed to believe it's not politically motivated. It's no. insane. Yeah. And I think you, there are a lot of cases of this right now where, you know, with this case, it's the OJ, but there are a lot of attorney generals, uh, and Trump has experienced this with uh, Letitia James in New York, who will say, we think you did something wrong. Give us mm. all your private information and confidential data, and we'll go through it, and then we'll decide what charges we're bringing against you. Just as mm. the founders intended. Just as the founders <laughs> intended. This is this is the America they promised me, right? Yeah. Where you and are, so. yeah. you are yeah. under investigation, you are subject to subpoena, you have to comply, or else be brought up on some other kind of charges, mm. unless they decide they like you, right? Like This is right. completely about political favoritism. It's not about justice. It's not about accepting that... Some people have different values they than you do. They found a bag of cocaine at the White House. But we don't hey, know. Like, hey, who cares? Could be anybody's. Yeah. George yeah, Washington yeah. left that there. And like, no idea. Exactly. And like, it could be anybody's. Yeah, yeah let's find out who. That and makes sh- it scarier. It could be anyone at the White House. This bag of coke. Who's doing this? And shouldn't we be concerned that the Secret Service, who's ta- tasked with protecting the president, can't tell you where that came yeah, from? What do yeah. That cameras? makes them look terrible. Terrible. And instead, they're just like, Okay, well, that's over. We don't uh, know. It's funny, though, as that was coming out, I know we're devolving, but I had been in the West Wing a number of times when I was in the Bush administration. And and at first they made it sound like it was in this public door that everyone walks through. And she kept saying, Cree Jean-Pierre kept saying, it's a highly trafficked area. And then they narrowed it, narrowed it. And then when they finally confirmed where it was, you say, like, you can't go. I couldn't go down there. <laughs> right? No one can go. She, she meant drug traffic. <laughs> <laughs> It's so it's so funny. It, you can narrow the scope of who could, has access to that room, and there it's are. It's actually a Hunter Biden shaped everywhere. hole. That's what the door is. It's the only <laughs> like, thing. It's hard to say. Like we, the God shaped hole I have in my exactly. heart. There's a Hunter, the Hunter Biden shaped, shaped hole in the White House. House. No, it's uh, just wild. Like, just hysterical. And again, I think that the Biden administration should be yeah. embarrassed that they're sacrificing yeah. the Secret Service. Like yeah. mm-hmm. you're you're saying, as the president, you're not concerned that the people tasked with yeah. protecting you can't figure out where that came from. Or else the obvious, you know yeah. what I mean? It's well, the same as the is, SCOTUS leaker, right? I, I, yeah, how, yeah, it yep. could be anybody. Don't go after him. Well, okay, it could be anybody, but how many people see the the uh, unredacted draft version of documents, right? Can everyone, do, do you? It's like, well, yeah. we know, so. Everyone sees we, that. <laughs> everyone everyone so, knew what the Supreme Court so, was doing. Okay, so we know it's this cord. Now let's get going, right? It's, so they make it sound like, like, why do you? Why do you treat us like children? Just mm-hmm. stop pretending that we're dumb. The American people, I know I just called them dumb perverts, and that's sad, but but yeah. for the most part, the American people are not that stupid. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, they lie. We know that they're lying. They know that we know that they're lying. Yeah. We know that they know that we know that they're like, <laughs> they still lie to us. Romantic. Yeah. This is like I think, a this love was, song, I think that weirder. was Solzhenitsyn. Yeah, uh, maybe. Was oh, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So it was yeah. the, they, down they, the heart they, of everyone. They yeah. continue to, I think, I think on some level, it's it, it, it almost comes across as a humiliation ritual. Like, come on, this is what you're going with. You don't know who it belongs to. You're not going to investigate that. Um, Also, I mean, you just see how diametrically opposed the situation is with Trump uh, and Joe Biden or, or those two situations respectively. Trump has had every single element of his life turned upside down and had a flashlight shown on it. And we have not found any illegal acts. I say he might be Believe the most me. innocent person ever. I mm-hmm. know. And this is the thing. When he first ran, I liked him because of who his enemies were and he grew on me. But I wasn't going to say, I know that this guy's innocent. I know these investigations are phony. When the mm-hmm. Russiagate stuff first came yeah. out and they made these announcements, I went, maybe I have no idea. Let's sure. see. But then as time went on, and, and I think I just assumed because he was running for office that he had Something. legal skeletons in his closet because that seems to be a requirement in the United States. Mm-hmm. Right. But as time went on and they kept launching these investigations, I went, 
Oh my goodness, it's this guy's amazing. squeaky right? clean. Yeah. This guy is squeaky clean. <laughs> now, with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, we literally have whistleblowers at the IRS coming forward, two of them at once, to say that the investigation into Hunter was slow walked mm. and that every effort was made to ensure that they weren't going to find anything and they weren't going to give him a conviction. We had uh, Marjorie okay. Taylor Greene yesterday at the House basically uh, speaking with one of these whistleblowers and alleging that Hunter was paying prostitutes with company money and then writing it off. I mean, you, you actually was, have red flags. You even have smoking guns here when you mm. look at what's on the laptop and there's there's not an investigation. Then when there is an investigation, the lightest possible charges, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored, members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.